What's going on everyone? Austin John Plays here and today I'm going to be going over shiny swapping at Pokemon Legends Arceus. This is a weird thing. I haven't really seen anyone talk about this or anything else going on and this method, this concept is in its infancy. However, I wanted to let you know that I figured out how to do it at least one time. And if I could do it at least one time, then someone else could probably figure out what's going on more so and, and sort of reverse engineer and give us an exact math as to what's going on here. This was actually first told to me by my friend Snuggy. He's a fellow content creator and streamer over on twitch.tv slash aka Snuggy. He's currently doing a charity stream all month long. Go check him out. Not family friendly, but great guy. While I was walking around here on the Cobalt Coastlands, if I come back over here toward the bay where all the ghosts are, look to the left. Shiny Drifloom. I already have a Shiny Drifloom at the bottom left. I'm not too worried about this. We're gonna be testing it on him. How this works is really very simple. I'm just gonna go to where this Drifloom is and I believe that every single Pokemon has sort of a spawn radius, like a big circle in which it will spawn. And I don't have an exact map of what the spawn radius looks like here on the Cobalt Coastlands, but for me, I'm gonna be coming to about here. Here seems good, good 100-ish meters away. I'm gonna get off a of Weird Ear, and I'm gonna drop down a save. All we're gonna do is wait for, wait for the moon to be done. And I'm gonna know that it's no longer nighttime and it's daytime by either one, looking at the moon, two, hitting the minus button and looking at the top right, it'll tell me the time of day. I can look at all the ghost Pokemon, that dust dox. Sometimes there's a Drifloom or, or, oh, there's a Drifloom on the water and there's a Wisp right there. And all those things are gonna change when that moon goes down, which gives me a nice bed of time to talk to you about this. It seems as though this only works when a Pokemon is going to despawn during a day-night cycle. That means that if the Pokemon exists at the same percentages during the day and during the night, it seems as though that Pokemon may remain the same from initial findings. However, doing this method, and I don't know what this circle is, and you may lose your shiny Pokemon and you are risking this. If it's something that's expendable, you can try this out. If it's something that you don't want to lose, do not do this, okay? Do not do this. Listen to me. You come across a full out shiny Pokemon, it's something you want, save your game, turn off auto saves, go catch it the right way. Like I said, I already have a shiny Drifloom. So this is expendable for me. And that's the reason I'm testing it right now. With this proper distance away, you do want to turn off auto saves and you do want to save your game. And I just want to say right now, it's still nighttime. If I turn my game off and if I turn it back on, booting back up. So if we run over there real quick, you'll see it's still a Drifloom. Perfect. Just in case anyone questioned the authenticity of doing this. I'm gonna come back to my hidey spot. We're just gonna crouch down while I'm chilling in my beach attire. And we can see that the moon is almost done. You can see it very subtly right next to my webcam. I'm also gonna put down another save right here. Pro tip, say for example, you want this drift loom and it's literally about to be daytime and you don't have enough time to throw a Pokeball and catch that Pokemon before it despawns. You can, as soon as the game loads up, pull up your map, go to a camp, sleep until night or day, whatever the appropriate day night cycle is for that Pokemon. And then you can go and encounter it and you'll have plenty of time. So that's one way, one additional way to not fail a shiny Pokemon. The ghosts are done and the weather changed. So now we're gonna put down another save. I'm gonna turn the game off. I'm gonna turn it back on. What I'm thinking is going on here is that the game has in its memory that this Pokemon with this ID should be shiny. But since I'm outside of the range that it's actively calculating what's going on and changing the Pokemon, only once I approach the area does that Drifloom despawn. And then a new Pokemon will respawn. Well, now I've just saved the game during the day cycle where this Pokemon should have already despawned. And now we're at a state where this Pokemon is now going to be changed, but it still has this ID information. 
As you can see, it's daytime, the wisp is gone, everything else. I'm gonna hide my interface because I'm pretty sure this is gonna work. And that drift loom, I think, is gonna become uh, a Chadot or a Starly. It's a Starly. There we go. As you can see, that is a shiny Starly right there, occupying the exact same place that that drift loom was. When Snuggy was playing, he ran across this Glammeow. And then he saved his game when he was away because he was flying. You can't save in oh. the air. And when he went back, no. it was a Murkrow. I'm shocked that I caught that the first time. It changed spawns. And I believe that might be our first documented shiny swap, or at least the first one I've seen. Please don't run away. Okay, good. It did not run away. From here, I'm now going to see if we can wait until nighttime and if it becomes a drift loom again. I'm still just gonna come back to my trees about 150 meters away. I'm just gonna plop down a save because it worked. And now I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait till the sun comes up and the sun goes down. I'm not gonna go back to camp. I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm just gonna wait right here. I now realize how long it takes to go through an in-game day of doing absolutely nothing. The day-night cycle is so long, my switch went into the dim mode. I'm just, I'm just gonna go make sure it's still there. Still there. <sighs> how long is afternoon? Well, magic hour is gone. That means it's almost nighttime, right? Yeah, I hope this works. <laughs> Once again, don't do this if, if, if you're not willing to risk a shiny Pokemon. Okay, great. We have the despawns, the wisp has shown up, it's now nighttime. Save my game, turn it off, turn it back on. It's now nighttime, spooky boys are out. Let's go see if that Drifloom is there. And if it's a Drifloom, I'm gonna be interested in this. Still a Drifloom. Can we do it again? I see the moon setting. Okay, Dust Ox flew off. Uh, a night cycle is about seven and a half minutes. Maybe eight, I don't know. I may have paused in there somewhere. Let's go see if our, our burb is here. Our bird is no longer here. Oh, I forgot to reload from the save, duh. <laughs> Come on, Austin, you're, you're creating the strategy. You just saved the game, you gotta go from the save. Okay, reloaded from the save. Checking on Burb. Shiny Bird is still there. He is still there. Let's go test some more things. I would like to test now if I go to the beachside camp and if I sleep till the afternoon and if I go inspect Starly, will he be there or will this break it? Because this is my first time actually leaving in front of where he is. Starly should be on the right. Starly is on the right. Hi Starly, bye Starly. Gonna go to my corner. We're gonna wait for nighttime. Nobody puts Austin in the corner except for shiny Starly. He's the only one who could put Austin in the corner. And now it's nighttime. That was so much faster. Save the game, reload the game. We've now re reloaded in. Still a shiny balloon. Okay, we can leave the area. That is good to know. I'm just gonna repeat that. I'm, I'm just testing now, because we don't know how this works. Gonna go back to camp. Gonna sleep till the morning. I don't think I should sleep to the morning. I feel like I need to naturally be here for the transition from night to day. You know what? We're doing this amount of dangerous stuff. Might as well, right? Sleep until morning. Now let's throw down a hard save. Restart the game. All right. Time for our daytime check of our bird. And okay. Apparently we can just sleep day to night to change it. Go back to camp. Maybe you don't need to be in the circle. Again, no research ever done on this. Don't know how it works. So we're just going and figuring it out together. <laughs> Did I waste eight minutes waiting for that day night cycle to change? Save the game, restart the game. Now it's nighttime. Let's head back over there. See if we have our yellow balloon and yellow balloon. In addition, I've, I've been giving this some more thought as to how this works. Here is the Cerebi table for this area. And morning is gonna be Starly, Staravia, Starly, Staravia, Alpha. 
and then at night time we have Drifloom, 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 Drifloom. Think of it as individual sections. Think of it as a table of 100 or 1000 spaces, right? And 61.35 of those 100 or 1000, or I guess technically 10,000 spaces, 61.35% of that is Starly. 36.81 is Staravia, 1.23 is Starly, 0.61 Staravia, those last two being the alphas. I feel like because we landed within that 61% of Starly, it just kind of carries down into the nighttime table in which we still have 61.35% of Drifloom. So we're never changing where we are on that scale. Instead, we're just carrying from the day scale to the night scale, and that's it. We're just going from daytime to nighttime, and that's it. I mean, if the morning, day, evening, and night were all different, then yeah, you could have up to four spawns, but I think there's only morning, day, evening being the same, night being the same. And especially since this is a spawn that regardless of weather, it's going to be the same, as opposed to, say for example, the Chimchar, in Deer Track Heights, how in the morning that Chimchar is a 6.29%, but if it's cloudy, it's only 5%. So you have that difference there. And if it's cloudy, it might land on Monferno, it might land on someone else. And then going through all the different times of day, all the different weathers, that one line going down may land somewhere else for a different Pokemon. However, the table I'm on is so like fixed as that's what it is. It doesn't matter the weather right now. It just matters if it's evening and day and morning versus night. So if I come across another full odd shiny Pokemon that is expendable, because again, this entire time, I was mentally prepared to lose this Pokemon. I have two shiny Star Raptors and I have a shiny Drifloom. I don't need either of them. That's the reason in my head I wanted to do this test. It is expendable. I, I don't know how powerful this could be or if it's just this. Also, you know my stances on hacking Pokemon, I'm never a fan of that. But this, you're coming across a full odd shiny Pokemon, right? You came across it, it existed in nature. Should you be penalized for the time of day or the weather on what Pokemon was there? Should you have your option of which one it is at the risk of losing it? Maybe, some people might think that's fair. It's your option if you wanna do these things or not, or if you come across your shiny Pokemon, just let it be. I've even seen some people that don't save before a shiny because they feel as though being able to reset for it kind of loses the whole value of catching a shiny Pokemon, but, oh, really dude? Great, now you're booped. And I'm, uh, yellow ball, cause you're yellow. Great, we got it. Shiny Drifloom. If this is the start to something big or just a one trick pony, regardless, that is how you can risk and take a chance on a shiny swap. I've been Austin John, thank you for checking out this video. If you found it helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.